Rising water also means rising costs. Old Dominion University researched how much violent coastal storms are costing the region. Lauren Moss is on your side, breaking down the numbers and what you can do to ease the burden on your wallet. Roger Hall sits right off of this inlet, and right now it serves as a dorm room for students at Old Dominion University. And even right now, there's some flooding in this parking lot. Within the next century, this whole area could be underwater. Research coming out of ODU projects the cost of recurrent flooding in the Commonwealth. Flooding that looks like this within the next century. The research studies the damage of a one in a hundred year storm, which has a 1% chance of happening each year. The combination of sea level rise and storm events could hurt the Hampton Roads economy. The research suggests sea levels to rise around 1.61 feet by 2040. So if one of these storms hit us in 2040, the damage is estimated at around $1.7 billion in Hampton Roads. ODU economic professor Bill McNabb says the cost of Virginia is much higher. If sea level rise continues and we do nothing about it, how much would it cost people today? And what we found is that it would be roughly about $79 billion, which accounts for almost 14% of all economic activity in Virginia. McNabb says that's if we do nothing. He says there are ways to cut down some of the economic losses, including a carbon tax. In the next hour, I'll detail what he says you can do to help. In Norfolk, Lauren Moss, 10 on your side.